So I joined the military in 1983 and I was enlisted for 12 years. And in those 12 years, I, I had four MOSs. One was an OJT, but after that, I decided to go um, to the brigade and they asked me to be their food service warrant officer. And so I was gonna go to Fort Rucker and um, a lot of people had some problems making it through Fort Rucker. So I didn't have physically a problem because I maintain, you know, a high physical fitness standard. And so I went to Fort Rucker, graduated, and it was challenging, very challenging. But, uh, and I would say it was like basic training times 10, but I made it through, came home, and I was in food service from 1995 through 2014. So as the food service um, program manager, you know, I volunteered to be the regional rep for 14 years, and then I was the Eagle rep for six years, um, National Guard Bureau, and I was there to make changes, positive changes for soldiers, you know, taking care of people. You have to do that, and if you take care of their bellies, they're going to be working hard for you, you know, and that's how I feel. And so being in that um, position really, really helped me. So I would say my mom, because she taught us to respect all people the way we want to be respected, to respect each other, and to love one another. Oh, we had our disagreements, but in the long run, we stayed together tight as a family. And my, my siblings, that's where we were competitive. They taught me about sports and, and playing, and they were always on me for doing my best. And they, they motivated me you know, to, do, to do my best. And my dad, my dad yelled and barked orders because he had 10 kids to look, you know, look after. And so he actually prepared me for basic training. And the drill sergeants didn't have anything on him. Even in Nebraska, I was the first female. And I had female soldiers coming up to me, telling me, thank you. Thank you for breaking glass ceilings. And I would hear it over and over and over. And, and, and truly, I, I want to do what's best for the military. And, and when leaders stop thinking it's about them, that's when you can get things done, because it's not about me anymore. It's about the future of our warrant officer cohort, the future of our army. So we need to look at that. And by being the first female, I just brought different perspectives. And then coming here, I, I was actually 11 of us that applied for it. And there was half females and males. And so I really didn't think I had a chance. But uh, when I got it, I was surprised. But my husband was very supportive and he's been supportive. So that's why I am where I am today is because of the support that I've always gained from my husband and my family.